What's up guys? So today's video is going to be more of a vlog style video and I'm going to show you guys how you can control certain parts of your vehicle using your smartphone with a simple plug and play module. So you'll be able to turn on the headlights, honk your horn, you could even unlock your car, you can even, if you wanted to, remote start on certain vehicles. So without further ado, let's get started. Now you will need a couple of things in order for this to work. Number one, you will need a vehicle that is 1996 or newer. In this case, I have a 2014 Nissan Maxima and all of the vehicles that were manufactured in 1996 or newer have what's called an OBD2 port. Now most OBD2 ports are located here underneath the steering column. In this case, on this vehicle here, you'll see I already have that module that I was talking about plugged into the OBD2 port. Now what the OBD2 stands for is onboard diagnostic and most manufacturers use this to see what's wrong with your car. So in order for this to work, as I stated before, you need a car that has one of these, which if you have a vehicle that is 1996 or newer, you're in good shape. Sorry about the focus there. And I'm gonna show you what this guy looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy out. And this is it. This is a small little module, which started off as a Kickstarter project, as a matter of fact. And I'll leave that information down below if you guys wanna learn more about this. This is actually a Bluetooth version. They also have a Wi-Fi one that you can buy. And depending on what type of car you have, you may need to actually get the Wi-Fi. In this vehicle here, I was able to use the Bluetooth without um, any issues. Of course, you have to research which one you need. Um, there's usually just a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi version, but I think on Ford, Ford cars and even a Chevrolet, you need the Wi-Fi. Now, don't hold me to that. Do your research. But for this particular vehicle, I can use the Bluetooth. Of course, the Bluetooth is going to be a lot uh, more inexpensive. And all you need to do is plug this guy in. It's very simple, of course, because I'm underneath here and I can't use both of my hands there we go sorry so once you plug it in you'll see that there'll be a couple of blinking lights now the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and push on this button right here now I already paired this with my phone you can pair with a phone or tablet but once you push on that button you'll notice that this light over here the blue one hence the name Bluetooth will start blinking really fast just like this uh, red one here. Well, actually a little bit faster than that. And all you need to do is you have about two minutes to pair it with your phone. So once you do that, now you pair it just like you would any other Bluetooth device, whether it's a speaker or, you know, a smartwatch. It's the same process. So once you pair it, you are pretty much set to, you're pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and jump right in the car here and I'll show you guys how this works. Let me turn this light off though. It's kind of bright. Let me bring out the phone. And there is a free application that you get with when you buy this and it's called OBD links so let me go ahead and fire this up so this application is free and here you could see and I'll jump into settings really quick I'm not gonna do a, a video on how this works give me a second here let it focus sorry about that alright sorry about that so the light was a little bit crazy and I found a pretty good spot here so here's where it tells me what type of communication I have so this is a Bluetooth device the protocol, just I would leave it on automatic. Like I said, I'm not going to go through this whole thing. Which Bluetooth device? So I have several, several Bluetooth devices paired to my phone, and I'm specifying that it is my OBD Lynx, the LX version. After that, you're pretty much set to go. I do recommend you start your car at this point, otherwise, it may not connect. Now, because mine's already paired, it should connect. Uh, actually, it didn't, see? And that's what I was talking about. So let me go ahead and start the vehicle. I should probably open up my garage door before I die here with carbon monoxide. So started up, started up the car. It should be able to connect now. Let's see there. There it goes and it's communicating. Uh, read failed, opening communications. It might take a while because I tried. Okay, let me close this one here. Let's try that again. All right. And if it doesn't connect, I may need to, there it goes, reading vehicle information. Ah, there it goes, okay. So I was gonna say, I may need to close the app. So here you can see vitals like miles per hour, engine temperature, RPMs, and I'll show you when I rev the car. 
It works really good and I'll compare it over here to the dash. I don't know if you guys can see that. The RPMs are on the left. So let's see. So it's pretty quick. Of course, if you get the Wi-Fi version, it's almost like no lag. Oh, uh, this is where the fun part get, begins. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this application. I recommend, oops, you get, this is a paid app and it's called Torque. Highly recommended. This is a really, really good application. It allows you to do a lot more stuff. So you can see all this real-time information here, similar to the other one. So you can get, um, and it's reading it right now. It's just connecting. That's why it's taking a little bit longer than usual. This is a paid app and it allows you to do a lot of different things. So one of the things I wanted to show you and the benefits of this particular module is the ability to clear a code. So if you have any faulty codes, I can show you here. Well, I don't have any faulty codes. I would hope not. It's a pretty new car. But you can go in here and clear a code. So essentially, if there's something wrong with your car, you can come in here and just like a scan tool, see what's wrong with your vehicle and, you know, be able to find out what the problem is. There's also other things that you can do with this application. For example, 0 to 60 times, 0 to 100, quarter mile times, and I'll flip it over here. It probably looks better this way. So if you do any of these, make sure you do them in a private road or in a track. You can also measure horsepower. So it takes like your GPS and it tracks you. It's pretty neat. Um, you can also customize the gauges and you know make them look however you want. But like I said, essentially what I wanted to do is I want it connected over there so that I can see all of my information in real time. So let's get to the fun stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and power down the car and uh, show you this other application. I'll go ahead and shut this garage now. So this application will probably end up not working anymore because the car's not on. However, you're st still able to use Remote EX and that's the application you saw at the beginning of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and close this really quick. So this application is really interesting and really cool. It only works for Nissan cars. So depending on what other car you have, you're going to have to find the application that allows you to do certain things. So, so now if I wanted to honk the horn, that's pretty loud. Ouch. <laughs> if I wanted to come back here and unlock my trunk. So let's go over here. Let's unlock it. Okay dead bodies just kidding oops didn't close it right okay if I wanted to lock the door so I'm gonna sh show you that I can uh, where's the lock one this would be the lock one here okay so now let's go ahead and unlock it Now there's a lot of other things you can do with this application, but you do have to, as you can see, the ones that are green are the ones that I paid for. I know it's kind of, uh, I don't like that. <laughs> I actually emailed the developer and I said, look, I know you have to make money and that's cool, but you should have a package deal. So let me show you how that works really quick. Oops, should not close that. He has what's called a store and you basically have to buy every single feature. I know it's kind of weird, but for example, let me go over here. If you want to, let's say, you know, open your trunk, it's gonna cost you 99 cents. And then you have to buy that. You can see the ones that are still green, I haven't bought. What kind of is annoying is like opening up the door, unlocking the door is 99 cents, locking the door is 99 cents. So I feel like you're getting nickel and dime. And I emailed the developer, I'm like, look, I know you have to make money. I have no problems buying applications, but make like a package deal, I would have paid you know, rather than paying 99 cents for all of these features, which as you can see, I haven't bought all of them, I would have paid like seven or eight bucks to have everything on there, you know? And he, he talked, I talked to him, he said he's planning on doing something like that in the, in the future, but, so there's a lot of other things that you can do also, like for example, turn on the uh, hazard lights. You can um, also, if you wanna turn on the headlights, as you saw in the beginning of the video, um, if I wanna go ahead and turn that off, if I wanna turn on the fog lights, I can go ahead and do that. So really cool, very useful in the sense that, for example, I'll give you an example, my fog lights. In order for me, I can't just turn on my fog lights through my car. I have to have the headlights on in order to turn on the fog lights. So with this application, essentially what I can do is I'm overriding everything that the car is allowing me to do and I can drive with the fog lights on only if I wanted to do that. So that's where it, you know, 
it's it's I guess you can say it's it's pretty cool. It's also useful if you know you leave your keys inside the car. So you come to your car and you're like, oops. In this case, it, well, with this particular car, it won't let you. So I'll give you an example of that. I'll actually uh, give me a second. I have the keys right here. Ugh. All right, so if I wanted to lock myself out, it will not let me because it knows the key. So you hear a little beep, watch. See? It won't let me. So in my particular case, it wouldn't happen, but if I have the keys in my pocket and I want to lock it, there it goes. So, but I mean, for certain cars that don't have that and you, you know, you want to get locked out or something, um, that becomes really useful. So anyhow, guys, let me know what you guys like or think about these vlog videos. If you do like them, I'll, go ahead and make more of them. Uh, a lot easier to make, as you can see, it's a lot simple to just cut one or two takes and uh, go from there. Anyhow, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I'll leave all of those links down below. Until next time, adios.